Today is Saturday, October 1st, 2022. It is also day 236 of Blender. And today I'm going to use AI to convert an image of a woman into a 3D model. Now, I've done this before. Um, the problem is that these are perfect for background characters, but not, but they're not really that perfect if you're a sculptor and you want a 3D model to sculpt, right? And to like sculpt clothes, right? Because lots of people, you know, um, create like clothes mods for like certain games and even The Sims. So it's really hard to do that with um, 3D models that already have like a bunch of clothes on, just like this one. Um, so what I thought it would be perfect if I, you know, just searched up like an art reference of a woman, um, you know, that artists use to, you know, just kind of practice anatomy. And they don't, she doesn't really have that many clothes. It's like really perfect to create a 3D model out of this. So you can put that into Blender and then start, start sculpting clothes on it because, on the model, because there's not really, you know, that much to mess with. Um, or that much mesh to mess with. Yeah. So, Here's the code. Um, you can get this by going to the description box below and clicking on any one of the, on the day, which, what day is it today? 2.36. Source code, um, and then scroll all the way down. There is a collab option, and then when you click on it, it should bring you to a Google Collaboratory. You want to copy to the drive, make your own copy, and this is what it looks like. Then you want to go to the little arrow at the top right corner, connect to a hosted runtime so that you don't use your own memory and GPU, whatever. And then you wait until it's connected. All right, so once it's connected, there should be a check mark. You go to runtime and then run all. And that's literally it. Now you just um, scroll down until you see this option, choose file. And it's just asking you to choose the file. So for me, I'll go and choose which one? Um, I think this one. And then you just, that's it. That's literally all there is to it. And if you just wait a few seconds, not a few seconds, a few minutes, um, there should be a 3D model there in render the results section. So let's wait. All right, so the result is gonna be here. So it's gonna present to you a video. You can download that if you want. This is what it looks like, perfect. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and download that, not that I really need it. Um, what I do really need, um, what I'm looking for is the OBJ file so I can open this up in Blender. So I'm, I'm gonna go to the folder, PIF UHD, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Um, and then there should be a result folder that wasn't there before. Um, just click, clip, I can't speak. Keep on clicking until you get to recon and then the OBJ file should be there. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. And then I'm going to open up Blender. And once in Blender, I'm going to click on general and I'm going to press X to delete the cube. And then I'll go to the top left corner, go to file, whoops, import, and then import wavefront or OBJ. And then I believe it's somewhere in here. Um, I think it's this one. Let me import that. And perfect. So now this is the model. You can import it in Blender. And then from here, if you're a sculptor or if you're like a, a person who makes sim mods, like, you know, clothes, this is perfect because you have a base that you can work with and it's not that excessive with clothes. And it's like literally perfect. Um, so just to kind of touch up, you can right click to make it shade smooth. Um, you can go into sculpt mode and you can use the smooth brush and just kind of touch upon everything, make it smoother. Um, Let's go. The feet are not perfect. They, I don't think they ever are, but um, sometimes it happens. Just smooth everything. And then obviously um, it wasn't perfect because there is this over here. I think if I go into edit mode, I'm able to fix that if I want to, but that's going to take a lot. I might as well just put it back in the code and render it again. But yeah, just kind of go over it do something like that and then you have a model obviously um i would literally cut off the hands go into edit mode i would go kind of like this and then just cut it off somehow if you could figure that out um and not the hands but the fingers or just re uh just put it again in the model and it should pop up so yeah this is it and so you can start sculpting if you want to make a shirt you could do that and that's pretty much it for this video um, there's also a way you can animate this character, which I did in another video. Um, I think it was, hold up, uh, this one. I animated using Mixamo, right? So yeah, um, that's it for today. So if you're a sculptor or a person who makes sim mods, like for clothes and fashion, this is like perfect because it's like a bare model that doesn't really have clothes and you can just build upon that and do your thing. Anyway, bye!